Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for May the 23rd. I'm going to be pulling one overall collective energy card along with a card for each sign. So let's just see what comes up for the day. Hopefully it's some nice flowing, positive, good feeling energy. I guess we'll find out. Card for the collective is Three of Fire, making long-term plans. That's kind of a neutral card. It's not great. It's not terrible. We like it. I like having it show up. It just talks about the idea that we're not um, just thinking about today. We're not stuck in our minds about yesterday. We've got some long-term plans, some goals, some dreams that we're looking at. How can we achieve those and figuring out how to make that happen? All right. So, Aries. Nine of Water showing up in reverse. Well, this gives the key as to why Aries are making some long-term plans and goals. Nine of Water in reverse just means that you're not feeling very satisfied. You're not feeling very fulfilled. And you are... Um, feeling motivated to feel more satisfied or fulfilled, whether that's in the work arena, whether that's in the personal arena. So this just talks about um, making some long-term plans to bring more satisfaction and fulfillment to your experience. We like it. Next up, we're looking at Taurus, High Priestess showing up in reverse. Now the High Priestess in reverse tells me that there's some confusion going on and really high priestess in reverse is profound confusion okay so when the high priestess shows up in reverse like this along with our three of fire this just tells me that Taurus may be feeling um, a little bit well a lot confused about what they want their long-term plans to be what are my long-term goals this is a question that you may be asking yourself today Taurus Next up, we're looking at Gemini, Two of Fire. Geminis, I think that today you're spending some time really looking at what uh, kind of impact your life is having on the people in your sphere of influence and even that ripple effect. And I think that you are uh, making some plans and adjustments about how you want your life to impact those people in your sphere of influence and what type of ripple effect you actually want to have. So really looking at those plans and um, setting them in motion if you need to make any adjustments and if you need to stay the course, even making plans to continue to stay the course as well. So that's really nice. Next up, let's look at Cancer. Cancers, you guys have the nine of air showing up here for me. This just tells me that you guys are really stressing out about something. And generally, when we have this kind of stress, it's something that we cannot control. If we could control it, we would do something about it rather than be under this kind of stress. So this is a card that basically says you've already done whatever you can with this situation it is kind of time to make peace with however the cookies need to crumble here um, and with this three of fire showing up in the collective energy i think that you are making some kind of plans to relieve whatever this stress is that really has gotten the best of you. So you could be planning on doing some self-work. You could be planning on getting other people to help you with this. Um, you know, whatever that is, you're making some plans how to come out from under this stress. And that was, that was cancer. Okay. Wow, we're already through four cards. Next up is going to be Leo, and look, you got your own card, Leo. So, excuse me, had to wet my whistle. So, Leo, with the strength card, um, Leos, I really feel like what's going on here is you guys are doing something about your health. You're making some plans, some goals, some targets for your health today. Some of you um, could be setting a plan for some type of... Um, Surgery. Some of you could be putting into plan 
you know, some type of nutritional change, some type of exercise change especially would be highlighted with that strength card coming up. Uh, but I do think you're making some long-term plans and some goals for something that you want to improve about your health in specific today, Leo. Ba -da 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 -da. By the way, mental health is a part of health, guys, just so you know. Now, this is for Virgo. We have the Chariot coming up along with the Three of Fire. Virgos, I feel like today you're going to be making some long-term plans about travel or about moving home, one or the other, okay? Yep. I'm going to say for more of you than the other, I think, are thinking about moving home, making plans about moving home. And this is long-term plans. Um, so maybe you're not planning on moving tomorrow or today, but you're putting in mind, okay, I want to be moved by such and such a date, or I'm going to begin to start looking for places I want to move into, something along those lines. So long-term plans about uh, moving homes for some of you, a lot of you, and for others of you, this is long-term plans just about general travel, okay? Now, let's see, that was Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Libra, as you guys got the lover card, love card in reverse. Libras, I do think that there is some type of partnership that you're involved in that you are making some plans to split away from with our collective energy being one about making long-term plans. This can be um, a day that you decide, hey, I no longer want to be married. It can also be a day where you realize that your business partnership isn't working out or somebody that you've considered a close friend that you kind of do a lot of things together. You may be realizing that isn't working out. You don't want to be a part of that anymore. So that could be happening too. And this is just the day of making that decision that I'm going to come away from this partnership, okay? We're not talking about this isn't the day you file for divorce or your divorce is final. This is the day of making the plan, whatever this partnership is, whether it's marriage or something else. This is the day that you start making the plan about how you're going to uh, separate from that person and that partnership. How are you going to evacuate yourself from that? This is when you start making that plan. So very much with the three of fire, not taking action right now, just making that plan. All right. Now, who was that? That was Libra. Next up, we're looking at Scorpio. Okay, so Scorpio's Empress card showing up here. Empress card just tells me that, you know, we're really good at manifesting those things that we want in our life. We know how to do that, especially when it comes to working with the divine on that. So with our three of fire, this talks about some type of manifestation that we are bringing into our experience. And with this card, this talks about making that plan to bring this manifestation in. So just making the plan to start setting that action into motion to bring in the manifestation that we're focused on. Okay. So the manifestation isn't coming in today. We're just planning on how to make it come in. All right. Sagittarius. Four of water. What's going on here, Sagittarius? Normally a four of water talks to me about the idea of a pity party. Hmm. Ba -da 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 -da. Sagittarius, I think you have some low expectations going on here. I really don't like it. It doesn't, it's not productive. It's not healthy for you. I would like to see you change this energy and make these cards a liar. 
Okay, Four of Water talks about focusing on the disappointments, focusing on the things that have gone wrong, ignoring the possibilities and the opportunities for you. This collective energy talks about making some kind of long-term plans. So when we combine those two cards and make them into one thought or one sentence, what we have is you making long-term plans about having a pity party. So this is basically telling me that there's something that you're doing that you're planning on failing. <laughs> you know, um, I know that sounds ridiculous and you probably wouldn't say to somebody, you know, I'm not planning on doing well with this. Or maybe you already kind of know you have a challenge with it. Maybe you are saying, you know, I don't know how to make this turn out right. And so you're planning the pity party. You're seeing the doom before it happens and planning it. Here's what I don't like about this. This is completely preventable. Okay, and this is the good thing about getting cards ahead of time. And especially with this long-term planning, this is not something that's happening today. We're making the plans today. Okay, but the pity party isn't actually happening today. So we want to turn that energy around, Sag. I am talking to Sag, right? Yes. Excuse me. We want to turn that energy around. If we're having a pity party, then we're obviously focusing on how things can go wrong, at least if we're planning one. So we want to focus on the idea of things going right. Focus on, you know, how things could go in a good way, how things could go right for you. Athletes do it all the time. They do that visualization where they see them winning or making the shot or making the hit or whatever. Regular people can do it in normal life too and it's just as effective. So rather than planning your pity party today, <laughs> plan your victory party. All right, be visualizing what that victory party would look like. Who all would you be excited to tell about doing well with whatever this is that you're thinking you're going to need a pity party for? Who would you be excited to tell that it turned out well? Visualize telling them about it and visualize what would they say when you told them. Start visualizing that, but quit planning for your pity party. Don't do that. We know better. We know better. Those of us who are, understand spiritual laws and spiritual practices, we know Planning for our pity party is just making sure we have one. Nay, nay, that's not what we're up to. That's not what we're doing. We're planning for our victory party. We're planning to celebrate. Let's switch it up. Let's switch it up, Sagittarius. Capricorn for a fire showing up in reverse Capricorn. So Capricorns, this just tells me that you're planning uh, some time away from home. Okay. Could be a vacation, could be that you're remodeling your home and you're going to be in a hotel, could be all kinds of things, but you're making some long-term plans about being away from home. Ba -da -da -da, Aquarius. Sun card in reverse. Okay, so those of you who are Aquarius are making some plans to spend some time um, with another person doing things that you want to do without anybody breathing down your neck, setting deadlines or adjusting your style or your technique, just doing what you want to do along with somebody who is also enjoying doing whatever this is that you want to do. So you're making some plans for that. For some of you, this is going to be uh, planning to do something in the sunshine or in a sunny location, maybe even with beaches, maybe even in Kansas with all those sunflowers there. <laughs> I'm really going to trip if somebody puts a comment that, oh my gosh, I'm planning to go to Kansas to do, I don't know, a tour of the windmills? What would you go to Kansas for? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm sure there's something there. I just don't know what. All right, let's see. Who was that? Let me get away from that before I piss off any Kans and Kansas people. Let's look at Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Seven of Fire showing up in reverse Pisces. So Seven of Fire in reverse just means that you are planning on, with this collective energy of the Three of Fire, 
you're planning on um, coming into a situation where you're able to let your boundaries down, where you're able to really open up and talk to somebody, you are planning on a chance to do that. Some of you may be planning on meeting somebody that you've only really talked to online so you don't really feel like you know them yet. Some of you may be planning to get together with an old friend who you could always talk about anything with. But there's some type of planning going on about this idea of being able to let your boundaries down and just let yourself be yourself. We like it. All right, so that's for everybody. Thank you very much for being here. I'm looking forward to doing private readings and Reiki sessions for some of you and the rest of you. I'll see you back on the next video. Peace out.